Mr. Sanders. Mr. Sidney Sanders. Are you sure? Absolutely. It's an irrefutable fact that the supposition of past negative experience upon physical interactions manifests themselves in a myriad of ways, including allergies. Being forced to eat too much broccoli as a kid, having a bad encounter with a canine, these are impressions upon the subconscious that manifest themselves through violent reactions later in life. Mr. Sanders. Sydney. You don't think there is a cause for pause to consider such an idea as power over mind? The fundamental truth that there are physical influences that supersede and overpower your ideals? I believe in the power over emotion, and the power of emotion, to inspire, to enrage, to cause violent agreement and violent opposition. However, this too I believe the mind and keen focus can coexist with, and even control to some degree, if the idea of letting go is perceived as control. But how do you factor these shimmering ideals into a daily existence? After all, as much as you may believe in your ability to maintain a placid existence, the affirmation must be maintained every second of every minute of every day of your life. Are you telling me you embrace these ideals through BS of daily life? Mr. Sanders! Well, we all have to go sometime. It is imperative to maintain an outer placidity and embrace every task as a gift. I don't understand. Faith, superstition, divination, all are mental constructs that can overwhelm one's character for better or worse, and exist merely as conjurations of mind that can be otherwise altered by other presence of mind. <laughs> Mr. Sanders! Mr. Sidney Sanders! That won't work! Get out of my house! Get out of my house! What are you doing? Dude. You don't have a leg to stand on. So now, the question is... Are you willing to die for your ideals? You need to acknowledge and understand your feelings. You need to cleanse yourself and wash away those past hurts. It is time to dive in and deal with those emotions. Luckily, you have all the time in the world. <laughs> it's a party to die for! Faith, superstition, divination, all are mental constructs that can overwhelm one's character for better or worse, and exist merely as conjurations of mind that can be otherwise altered by other presence of mind. We all have to go sometime. Luckily, you have all the time in the world. All the time in the world.